Hi there, welcome to the super short explainer video for Slapria. This will save you an hour. Instead of doing a whole meeting, you can watch this first to see if you want to join. But basically what you'll get if you're a sponsor is this document here on the left. On the right are the notes <laughs> that I think are really important. So firstly, why organizations have been sponsoring and joining Slapria to begin with is because of the foot traffic. Basically, we're the biggest, one of the biggest public events in the country. Uh, with over 30,000 people coming into the space of about eight hours. So that's two four-hour evenings. Um, and generally for food and beverage businesses, they come because of sales, but non-food businesses also join as well to get leads for insurance, real estate, motorbikes, you name it. Uh, they also come for product or brand awareness or uh, advocacy, uh, and I'll tell you an example down below later, and for research and development. But basically, we are foodies in and out. That's why we do it. That's also why it's been growing by 10,000 people every year is because it's we are sincerely bringing all the new tastes, flavors, experiences to the event. Uh, for example, in 2022, this year, we're building like a noodle bamboo, bamboo noodle slide, cleaned out, freshened up and done sort of like this Japanese way where we're looking for a food like a, we have a noodle vendor that's creating fresh noodles. He puts it on the shoot down it comes and then like a kid with chopsticks is like grabbing them out of the bamboo and then putting into his ball of dashi for example so we're coming up with new things to do every year that we could do while keeping it safe and sustainable so that's who and what we're about Slapria did start as a social experiment on waste management so you see you're going to see all throughout the event everything is being designed to try and work, make the community uh, a better place and if you're interested in these sort of experiments that we're doing talk to us uh, or if you want to do one yourself, let us know. We're very happy to work together. But we've been doing this for quite a while, so we have a lot of built a really good community around it. Um, we have sustainability and social impact factors as well. So we've helped to reduce litter uh, at Water Festival, for example, uh, by 90% with the government since 2017 to 2019. So you're going to find that there's uh, free um, pro, pro bono policy advising reports. If you sponsor, then you're a part of that as well, actually. Uh, we ask you if you want to contribute to the report based on the findings that we have, any insights that you have at the event. And we also use this as an opportunity for project-based learning with youth. So that's generally high school, university students that come. They get professional training on waste management, health and safety, communications, and event management. What you will find interesting that no other event does is the investment <laughs> into people that we take to make this a success. This is why it's grown, because when you come to Slapria, everyone is smiling. Why? Because we do vendor training, they get rebates on this, our volunteers are getting training, because we tell them if it's a happy event, people spend more. And speaking of which, on average, it's about uh, $10 per person uh, that we find the 30,000 people uh, spending, $10 per person. And we tell our vendors to do tasting menus, so no more than like one, two, or three dollar like food menu items. So even if you've got like a big thing, like, hey, we've got, we sell chicken, roast chicken, well, try and make it into smaller portions because people aren't going there to get full on one vendor. They want to see the 150, 200 vendors or whatever that we have, right? So that's the market that comes in middle to high income. Um, this year, it's at December uh, 10th and 11th at the National Stadium, the only place in the city big enough to host an event like this with parking that's still central, right? So the Olympic Stadium is right in the middle of the city. We have stage activities. So what you need to know as a sponsor is basically talk to us. You can request to do a performance or a show on stage at your booth or another area, no problem. You don't have to pay if it's great content. And if it's really good, we'll cover it and we'll tell the media to turn up, right? So anything that makes the festival even better, more fun, let us know. Uh, what's happening this year, always, we have the Bouncy Passel from Fly, great company, do your team building there. Uh, we have go-karts turning up. We have, you know, I don't know if the marching band is still available this year, but we do have other activities and games and artists and things like that coming. So turn up. It's awesome. Talk to us. Now, for sponsors, what you need to know is that if you are coming at the 10K plus range, we do research with you. Uh, so take a moment to read the blog about how Yamaha doubled their market share from the insights from Slapria. Uh, their details are there. They vouch for it. Uh, and... One thing that's not on the slides in detail is actually this business intelligence tour. So if you are an F&B and you're a supplier and or you're a startup or you just want to scale up or you're an investor, we're going to be putting you guys together and sharing the behavior, consumer behavior insights uh, that we have at the event for this year for free. Okay, because uh, we're trying to grow 
uh, and direct um, the, the food and beverage industry um, to deliver better value for, for customers. Because when that happens, we have a better event, right? So uh, one thing for sponsors to be aware of is that there are discounts available for vendors. Um, we haven't thought about what that means for sponsors, but talk to us. If you're a sustainable business, now then there are discounts available um, for booths, extra booths that you might want to get with us, for example. Um, and we are offering 50% discounts on booths for signing up to Just Good Refills, which is a refillery company that replaces the need for single-use plastic packaging. And they offer locally produced natural products uh, certified um, as assistant sustainability reporting. So if you sign up to them for three months, 50% off on the booth. There is a food safety campaign going on with the UNIDO, so a lot of very interesting things going on with um, international partners. Um, we spoke about sponsorship activities already, and there's a lot of people. So basically, there is an entire media plan. So every year when we do it, these guys turn up. <laughs> In the past, we had to do things to get them to come, but now they just come. So that's really great. So that's TV, media, uh, uh, press media, influencers. They're all going to be there because it's the biggest food festival in Cambodia with all these great activities going on. Lots and lots of fun. So turn up, let us know. Uh, and um, one, oh, one more thing about sponsorship. And this is sort of all sponsorship at the idea. You don't have to give cash for the entire amount. We do ask for a certain amount to be given in cash. But if you can't make it, dude, just let us know. Tell us. You can do things in kind. But what doesn't count are things like the branded umbrellas not a really a thing for us because then you just take them back so that doesn't count um, it has to be things of value to festival goers like things they can sit on or use like tables and chairs or stage equipment whatever things that make the event better so yamaha what they did in previous years was they actually injected a thousand dollars of the sponsorship directly into the uh, festival <clears throat> so when you answered the question of the survey they gave out like two bucks of, of food vouchers to use at the festival and we said you know what why not so talk to us about what your goals are, your plans, and if you've got really cool things that we should be promoting, we will do it because um, that's what we're about. So uh, if you're interested, contact us. Uh, let us know how you want to get involved. Uh, we're very open and easy to talk to. Um, so we hope to hear from you soon. Thank you. Oh, my name was G, by the way. If I didn't, didn't introduce myself earlier, I'm the founder of the whole festival. And I'm looking at growing it with the right partners. So do come and talk to me. Thank you.